Hey everyone, this is Josh with Josh Wright Piano TV. Today's episode deals with overcoming performance anxiety and is in response to Chris's question. Uh, today we're going to go over some stage presence and performance techniques that have really helped me actually recently to overcome a lot of performance anxiety. I remember growing up, I didn't, uh, I always felt like, you know, why do people get nervous? Because I didn't really deal with a lot of performance anxiety. And um, I took two years off to serve a mission. And then when I came back, I actually started getting a lot of performance anxiety. And just recently, I have been talking with my teacher and reading a book. Uh, the book is called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Um, it's a really amazing book so far, uh, what I've read. And there's a few techniques I wanted to share today that can hopefully help with this, because I feel so bad uh, when a performance is in jeopardy, whether it's mine or someone else's, just because of unnecessary pressure. And um, I really want to help, if I, if I can, to help any of you who are dealing with this overcome it, um, as I'm overcoming it. I certainly haven't overcome it completely. I still get nervous, but uh, I'm doing better. The first thing that you want to do is, um, I always like to imagine myself in as I close my eyes, um, everything around me dissolves, and I'm just kind of in this this blank state of mind. And then when I open my eyes again, it's only me and the piano. That is the only thing that exists in the universe, is me and this piano. And um, when you have that kind of isolation, it really helps. Uh, most people say that their practicing is very comfortable. Um, and that they can really play their best when they're alone, but then when, as soon as they get in front of people, it just falls apart. So that's the first thing I do. Kind of imagine yourself in this isolation. If you don't like just like a blank state of mind, you know, go to your the place where you are calm. If it's, you know, on top of a summit of some mountain, you open your eyes and you're there with this piano. Uh, or if it's just in your living room, wherever your calm place is, go there. The second thing uh, that my teacher and I discussed a few weeks ago, she's an incredible performer and um, really had a lot of performance, has a lot of performing experience all the time. And she says that one thing that helps her is she'll close her eyes and then when she opens her eyes, everything's kind of warm and she just thinks to herself, you know, I've been here before. I know this place. And you have. Every single one of us has. In our practicing, we've been there before. We've played through the pieces. So say, th and say that you get really nervous on a part of the piece. Um, you've been there before. You have executed that place well. So you need to have that confidence behind your performing. Um, the next thing I am a big advocate for is um, distracting your mind from the pressure. A lot of people think, if I'm not thinking about every single note, then I'm not going to perform my best. That's actually completely false, in my opinion, because the more you think and the more that you are just focused on every little tiny detail, that's wonderful for practicing, but I think it's absolutely detrimental in performing. Your mind should be at a very simple place. So as soon as you start a section, so if I'm going to start the Chopin Scherzo in C-sharp minor. Maybe I'm thinking at the beginning, rather than thinking F sharp, A, E, oh man, what are this, is that next note, you know, and just psyching myself out. I actually had an experience at a competition the night before, I was thinking through my scherzo, kind of playing through it in my mind, and I could not remember, is the first note F or F sharp? And I got so distraught over it that I had to go to the piano in the middle of the night and just play. <laughs> it was pathetic. Uh, I really can't even believe how our minds... Um, really play tricks on us and really get in our way. You want to have your mind just be in a state of silence when you're performing. Little things can come and go. It's like I've, I've heard um, an analogy where uh, your mind is like a river and thoughts you know, come and then they flow out and then another thought might come and then they flow out. And this is actually a really good technique to use um, as you are getting ready to perform. Uh, if if the if sitting at the piano makes you nervous, think of 
think of yourself in the woods, a really calm place, and there's a river. And then I kind of like to think of like a little capsule or a bubble with images in it. This is really kind of my own twist on this. But as that bubble goes by, you see that image of yourself at the piano. And all of that anxiety is coming in as you look at it, and then it leaves, and it flows right out. That's a really good technique to get rid of performance anxiety. Um, the next thing I like to do is a lot of times in performances we'll be completely ready and then we'll start to panic. Um, you know, at the National Chopin competition, it was my second round, and at the very end of this Chopin waltz, you know, this is the third time playing this. some wrong notes instead of and I remember gosh I, it was because I was focusing so the next time that happened I would think of the first image that popped into my mind if it was uh, a beautiful uh, mountain scene or a house or a tiger or a piece of paper whatever it is it sounds ridiculous but as soon as you start panicking in a performance focus on that image and focus on it until you get through that passage. You are not going to think about that passage when you're playing. You just, I mean, you can focus all you want, but as soon as you start to panic, before you screw up, think about that image, and it will distract your mind, and luckily you've practiced enough that your muscle memory can kick in for a little bit. I'm not an advocate of, you know, muscle memory through the entire performance, that's awful, but sometimes we do need to rely on that. We're human, and our minds do lapse sometimes, and so, we need to get into that state of mind, distract your mind a little bit with, with that image, and then as soon as you're past that section, you know, you start coming out of it. The last piece of advice is one that every single one of us has heard, but just practice performing for everyone. Um, and really force yourself to practice performing uh, for people you aren't comfortable around. And when the piece isn't quite there, I, I remember to get, to get a piece performance ready, you have to sacrifice your pride in order to play it for someone before it's 100% ready. It will never be 100% ready before you perform it for someone. So perform for people all the time. Hope this has been helpful. If anyone has further questions or separate questions aside from performance anxiety, please email me. My email is josh at joshwrightpiano.com. Thanks for joining me today.